Hey Ashley, my name is Ian. I just watched uh, this video, I'm the problem. I'm surprised, I'm not surprised. I see people don't respond, well haven't responded to your video, this video, some of the videos I looked at with video responses people aren't responding and it's so strange how that works because that's ultimately what makes us feel better is the communication and I think people the reason maybe that people are I'm assuming this and it's I'm not positive of this but I think maybe that people are afraid to communicate with you because of the pain that you're feeling and people you know you know when you communicate with someone that's feeling pain it means that you're going to feel the pain too it's 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 empathy and you can't have a conversation with someone unless you're empathizing with them not a real conversation not one that matters I'm, and I'm empathizing with you I guess I should just let you know that I'm empathizing with you I have been severely depressed the majority of my life since I was like six seven years old it really got bad when I was like ten and I just buried myself in video games video games not alcohol, thank God. Although entertainment's just as bad, just as dangerous. You get absorbed in it. Um, I uh, recently have been communicating with people more. I, I, Amanda, my girlfriend Amanda, and I have broken up and gotten back together a few times. We've been together about eight years and we just went through about eight months ago, nine months ago. It keeps getting farther and farther away every time I talk about it. But like we had this, just the situation where I knew, I had this situation where I knew that if I didn't change the way I was acting, I was playing video games, I was avoiding her depression because I was depressed and I just wasn't, neither of us were confronting this situation and something happened and I realized I I have to to say something to her. I have to I have to confront this or she's going to kill herself. So I did. So I so I opened up. I dropped all my guard. I dropped all pretense. I stopped saying what I thought she wanted to hear. I stopped it all. I just decided to totally exist as myself with her with with her and I did and she went completely crazy because it, she didn't want to experience it she wanted to be placated everybody wants to be placated they want to be told that they're great and they don't want people to step up to them and tell them that what they're doing is self-destructive no one wants to be told that and that's not the way to go about it. I didn't tell her she was bad or wrong. I, I told her that what I was doing was self-destructive and I told her why. I opened up. I was afraid, I am afraid still. I'm afraid of people. I think everybody is. But it's the fear that we have to overcome. Talking, opening up to someone that we don't know. I mean, who do we really know? We don't know anyone else. We don't know what their experience is. We don't know their consciousness. All we know is what we know. All, all we know is us and what we feel and think. We don't know other people. We don't, we'll never know other people. We, we constantly live in a, in a state of panic and fear. And we suppress it and we pretend like we're happy. When in truth, happiness is fleeting. Just like sadness is fleeting. Thinking about, you know, no, watching you experience it by it I mean the pain that it's fucking amazing though isn't it I mean it is amazing it's painful but it's amazing it's just as important as love just as important <coughs> it's just as fucking important as love 50 50 you can't have one without the other and I'm not talking about happiness I'm talking about love openness joy Where you don't, where you're not hiding anything. 
And so what I've done is I've taken this concept and I've put it, in, uh, I've put it into effect in every aspect of my life with everyone I know, everyone I meet, everyone I don't know, with my videos on YouTube, with people every day, at the drive through at work, uh, this manager that I just met a couple days ago, Bob, I knew, he, he worked at fucking Universal Studios for a long time, like he's working this industry, he's a real guy that can get me jobs. And my, my instinct is to freak out, is to clam up and, and stop being who I am around him. Because I think something else might be a little better. If I listen a little more, maybe take it easy and wait, then maybe it'll be better. But the truth is, fuck, that's not right. That doesn't exist. The truth is that I am who I am, and I, that will never change. I will listen, and my beliefs will change, but who I am in this moment, that's it. And it's the same way for every single person in this planet. Every single fucking person in existence, wherever they are, if we're on another planet, who knows? Anyway, that's a little off subject. Yeah, I, I think that maybe people exist on other planets. People like us. It's possible. Why not? There's no coincidences. I'm glad I ran across your videos. I'm, just, I'm looking at your face right now for the Eye on the Problem video in the beginning. You're kind of looking down to the right, probably at your computer screen maybe. And you just... I feel the pain. The pain is amazing. Letting out, letting out the pain is the most amazing part. Which is why you're fucking so fascinating. Because you're doing it on YouTube and people want to get in touch with that. Alright man, I'll talk to you soon.